Hello people, welcome to this season 3 of my Let's Play. This is episode 17. We are progressing fairly quickly, if I can say so. I collected all my sugarcane a while ago, and it still hasn't grown up again. And you can see I have a fair amount of cattle down there. I'll have to think uh, to b about building some sort of uh, storage system and the like. Maybe I'll use uh, minecarts if they still work as holding for them. I also so, uh, should uh, collect some of the cattle. Anyway, <coughs> I've been making f a few modifications. I created some automatic crafting tables and placed them in here. Uh, just because I will be make a place in here the automatic crafting system. Also, I remember uh, something, an, an old trick or so, and that's, well, ta-da! I can get my hands on mods by transmuting our dearly uh, pumpkins into them. Funny thing how long it took to me to remember that. <laughs> oh well. And uh, what else is. Uh, oh yes, I finished already my. my moth trap in there. However, I won't be expanding it uh, away because, uh, well. We need to take into consideration th that uh, right now it's built just inside the. Uh, Working, huh? Oh dear. I had been. There we go. I had been, yeah, I testing some stuff in the in the other testing world. To be precise, I've been testing <coughs> how to uh, what would uh, take me to craft an automatic sorting system. <coughs> so yeah, uh, as you saw in the in this in the lines I devoted to it uh, a few days ago, it's fairly expensive. However, it would be really nice because I'd only need to place the cha uh, chassis pipe under each of these, a Mark II chassis pipe, a polymorphic module. This in here, <coughs> and uh, I would uh, essentially be able to sort the items automatically. I wouldn't need to come here and say send uh, this item to there, this other to to there, etc. It would be just a matter of placing some items in here, and all all the items of the same type would be going in there. So. I also would uh, be able to be to get rid of this timer, and I wouldn't need to um, well have some other stuff I, I, uh, there. <coughs> of course, I'd need to keep this or place more chassis pipes there. The article only uh, contemplated so, uh, these chests. Hmm. <coughs> okay, so what else do we have here? Well, we do have uh, very good work on the farm. Sometimes, uh, especially in the inner ring, this poor fella will go around and be unable to replace uh, harvested wheat. In that case, you only need to come here and change this, like like so, and let it uh, take one or two rounds before restoring it to normal. Uh, also, <coughs> I realized I needed a two-pronged uh, lava blade. Uh, two, well, it's now wider. 
you can see I expanded this in here. That's because essentially the um, spiders weren't able to get in, into that uh, canal, so they would clog up the system. And that's essentially all the actualizations. Oh, I did. I think I discovered something else in the, with the Thomonomicon. Let me see. Forbidden knowledge was it? No. Tainted. I will try to research uh, tainted. Lo uh, I mean, totem of dusks to try and discover the tot the other totem, the totem of dawn. Yeah, globes of revealing. Thermometer, I believe. Oh. And I think the Woods of Striding, you can craft them without discovering. I'm not sure, I will try to do it. But uh, again, I am more interested in the in the Veil, in the Beast Veil, than, everything, than any other thing. Uh, so what are we going to do now? First, I am going to get my hands on something interesting. And for that, I am going to require two pieces of obsidian glass, if I know where it is. This is another reason for upgrading the system to a logistic pipes one, but for the time being, I can't afford it. Uh, personally, I think this is the best compromise uh, between affordability and uh, functionality right now because essentially you don't need all those diamonds. Of course I'm using them to craft the uh, alchemical chests, but I could have used regular chests. So what am I going to do now? I have obsidian transport pipes. I'm going to need something else. Let me think for a second. Oh yes, I remember now. We're going to craft uh, some old uh, industrial craft item. So... Oh. Let's uh, compress this, by the way. Since the compressor doesn't have any kind of input, I, c I wouldn't bother placing the uranium down there to send it here or something. So, <coughs> what I am going to use to craft is something nice, something funny, and something not really expensive for what it does. However, well, equivalent exchange uh, has an item that uh, le leaves that useless or outdated, and here it is, the electric jetpack. We need an advanced circuit, some uh, refined iron, and a bat box. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So we're going to need uh, something I don't have, a circuit. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to need some lapis and some stuff I don't have. Huh. Oh, dear. No, I wasn't talking about the lapis. I was talking about uh, cobble, copper cables. There we go. Maybe I'm going to need a little more insulation. <coughs> Okay, 60 is more than enough. And there we go. Perfect. Now we're going to need some refined iron. Let's grab some machine blocks and unmount and, uh, mount them. Uh, there we go. We're going to need only one, so for once I won't be crafting this on bulk. Now, if I remember right, this was a little like this? No. Let me think for a second. Was it like so, maybe? Yeah, there we go. So, right now it's... I need... Um, okay. I need... A bad box. Perfect. Knew I had one. Seriously. I knew it. There we go, electric jetpack. This is a fairly useful item, especially for its cost. Of course it doesn't have uh, much of a... Um, uh, auto ...autonomy, but uh, I believe it's good enough. <coughs> 
so I lit a charge up and the like, let me think for a second I'm going to need an item teleporting pipe and at least one or two stone uh, pipes okay yes, I, am, I picked two obsidian transport pipes for a reason well, in fact, I'm going to grab to grab one iron instead of two stones. Yeah, you'll see in a moment. And I'm going to need the wrench. Okay, here we are. First, the electric jetpack is used like like this. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's essentially yeah. You can see here it's uh, more or less the same item. And the spider survived, oh dear. So what I'm going to do here is to place here and here these two babies and here I'm going to place this and here I'm going to place this one then I'm going to place this in here to frequency one. Now uh, spiders, well you can see the zombie got uh, nailed there now spiders can get in here, so I am going to need to block their exit avenue. For example, let's get some stone here. Yeah. No. No, I don't know. Two stones should be enough. And we're going to place them in there, so the spider will try to jump, but it won't be able to. And... yes... Yes, I know, I know, I know. The system should be better made. How? Well, essentially, by place, uh, placing here these two babies, uh, placing here this one, and where's the iron pipe? There we go. There, and now the teleporting pipe to frequency 1 up there, perfect and so now we place this in here so let me think for a second uh, if I elevate this, perfect, yeah Whoops, can't see. Nope. I'll, oh yes, yes, I want you to be like that, and you like that. Perfect! So right now the mobs will get in here, and will fall in there. So of course I want to place all these items like in here, yeah, there it, there we go. I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> so you can imagine I don't really think much about this stuff, I just uh, go with the flow, so to speak. <clears throat> okay. So now, regardless of the monster, it will get on top of this uh, Obsidian pipes and will die. And obsidian pipes work like this: they pick up the item and send it to whatever system they are they are connected to. And yeah, I know I could have done this without uh, the need to craft myself the pack, the flying pack. But how cool is this? Well, of course you need to be careful because you can hurt yourself hard. But, well, now we can fly. Okay, seriously, this is enough of uh, falling damage. I suppose I should um, craft myself some resilient boots. But, uh, oh well. Let me think if I can. Okay, and there's... No, uh, what's N? Yeah, hover mode. It's more slow when it comes to get up or down, but you won't suffer when you go down, and it's easier to keep a stable altitude. 
So yeah, it's a uh, it's a good option for flying. Uh, uh, what else can I tell you? Of course, you need to hit the function key, which by default is M, but I have it mapped to N, since I am using other mods that require the M key, like uh, Rise Minimap, as you can see. <coughs> and uh, okay, we're good to go. Oops. Let me place in here the gunpowder and all this stuff. Uh, no, not this. This goes directly in here. Yeah. And let me store all these items I am not going to use for now. Now, the electric backpack is one of the two. Sorry, the electric jetpack is one of the two you can craft. There's also this jet jetpack. Of which uh, we can't see the recipe for some reason. <laughs> Seems like uh, an AI doesn't want to cooperate with all the stuff. Oh, yes, the solar helmet. This was part of uh, an external mod that has been integrated into, um, into the StarCraft. Essentially, when you walk uh, under the sun, when you're under the sun, you will be recharging all the items you have in your cell. It's slow because you are gener uh, generating one energy unit per second, but well. And there's another one, if I am not mistaken, <coughs> that works with boots, static boots. Yeah. They do the same thing. Would you walk and you generate energy, regardless of the lighting level? light level or urine. Oh, Eldritch Keystones, these are from some craft and you use them once you have opened the monolith to access new areas. Anyway, let's see how our research goes. Perfect. Again, I can't stress this uh, enough. Uh, remember, placing just one item in the, in the research system is uh, quite wasteful, especially if you're using low grade items. I'm going to try with seeds, since I have uh, so many. Let's see how much. Well, 7%. A little better than cobblestone. Anyway, uh, as I told you, I use cobblestone a lot because, well, it's a resource we are going to have in spades. As you can see here, more is coming. It is also a 3% if you use 3 stacks, but uh, you get like, uh, I don't know, well, as you saw here, 5 fragments, if you're lucky, even 7 sometimes. And it's quite useful. <coughs> anyway, as I told you before, we are going to, if this system works the way it should, we're going to get all uh, mobs that spawn in there. And since we are inside the anchor block area of uh, effect, uh, it should be working even when we are not nearby. Place. And uh, we'll be getting moth drops all the time. I hope to get my hands on more zombie brains. As you can, as you know, they only drop from special zombies added with uh, some craft, and they can be recognized because they have uh, red eyes. Let me see if we can see them in here with the X. Uh, spawn villager, creeper, skeleton, cow, sheep, pig, magma cube, blaze, silverfish, guy spider, enderman, and uh, the, the, the zombie, only regular zombies, yeah. Yep. <coughs> uh, let me think. Ah. Okay. Uh, Ta -ta 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 -ta. Tainted chicken. 
the internship. Oh yes, should be a, I should be able to spawn the the mouth through here to through this uh, interface. Should uh, the name is oh look skeleton ally that should be related to the skeleton ones. Don't worry, I won't be summoning monsters to to kill. It's just uh, I'm checking what the hell can we find in here. Oh, the traveling trunk. Portal radio, portal APG. Hmm. Brain is zombie. Okay, that might be the name. So those uh, red-eyed zombies we we see every now and then. Brain is zombies. They have a brain, surprisingly. And I believe it's time for us to craft some uh, nifty items. Of course, I am going to need some crystals, which are all down there. And yeah, I've been checking the wiki, and I don't really need to research some stuff. Yay for me and my idiotic uh, <coughs> holding back without even checking before ODR. So I'm going to craft the Tark Infuser, which uh, you know we discovered how to craft in a previous episode. And so now I am going to craft myself two compass. They usually point to where you have to go uh, to find your way. However, if we craft ourselves some gold, which of course I left upstairs, oh dear, uh, we can uh, use the regular infuser to turn <coughs> them into other stuff. So first let me drop some fuel to the system. Yeah, I know I should be feeding some coal into here, but right now I don't feel like that. <coughs> and let me place in here a compass, a gold ingot, a beast crystal. This should work as it is. And give us the beast detector, which is good. And we can see there's not very much bees around here. And with this, the taint detector, which you can see, there's not much taint either. Now, if I grab myself uh, one of each crystals, oh dear, down to my last vaporous crystal. This is quite uh, humiliating if we consider I am in a plains, uh, a plains system. Now let me place a dark infuser. I believe this is a good enough point. Yeah, thermometer. Now when I craft two of those, of course, I will be able to make myself the Googles of Revealing. <coughs> However, I can't right now because I am out of uh, those. Damn well. So, other thing I was going to do <coughs> from Tainted Null no, uh, here, no, it's uh, forbidden, I believe, yeah. Nah, nothing really interesting in here, not Eldritch, perfect. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you can click here and see lots of Tain, few bees, uh, damn it. Mm -mm -mm. I think I can't uh, burn these leaves, can I? See? I can't. I suppose they weren't uh, something you could uh, get. But oh well. So it's nice to see how much taint and stuff I do have. Oh, of course, we were going to craft ourselves boots of striding. Sorry, I, I completely forgot about that. Now, the Woods of Striding requires a feather... Um, something else... Hmm... Uh, sorry. A feather and one of those uh, crystals down there, I believe uh, they require only a blue one. 
And uh, I don't think I will be using these uh, boots myself. I think I, I will be using them. Yeah, I think it was an Accus. So maybe. And no, uh, they are crafted in here. So let me see. Is this working? What did I forgot? It has to be half green. Mm -hmm. This is too blue. Too, too blue. Uh, maybe it's an earthen crystal. And the, the screenshot in the wiki... Yeah, it was an earthen crystal. The screenshot in the wiki is a little... tinted. So, let me see. Oh, we require a vaporous crystal, which we don't have. But, we got ourselves boots of striding, so we are now a little more impervious to falling damage. The boots will reduce the falling damage to half. And does this work if I have it? No. It has to be directly on me. Shame. So, there we go. I believe we crafted some nifty stuff. Mm, we are not getting all that much uh, goodies from up there. Let me grab the flying pack if I can. Oh, of course, I left it uh, recharging. Silly me. I completely forgot. There we go. <coughs> and yeah, you can see it. Uh, the filter is trying to get only the first item in there. So let me graph the portal gang. And see how things are up here. Well, not bad. I'd, uh, I'd say it's fairly good. And some appetite in here for us to graft. Yeah, it's. Uh, I believe it's good to sometimes come into the. into your. Well, oh, and of course, it's hard to mine vertically. There we go. So it pays off sometimes to come to where you're, you have your quarry and try and see if you're le uh, leaving stuff on the sides. Again, <coughs> Equivalent exchange flying item. It's uh, much better and, uh, at this, but well, we can't have it all. After all, that item requires a lot of stuff I don't have, and I can't afford to craft. And where did I place? Oh, yeah, here it is, my remote. So this has been episode 17. I hope you liked it. And I hope in the next episode we'll uh, get to do more goodies, more uh, good stuff. And yeah, you can see my system has stopped completely. Because, uh, remember, my quarry works with uh, daylight. not uh, And cannot store it any reserve, any power reserve. But uh, it's... It's cheap. It's a cheap system that doesn't require any upkeep. And in the next episode, I believe I will upgrade my farming system. I think I will... Oh, look, the coke oven finished. I think I will be making some changes, like, uh, I don't know... I might uh, 
craft some no I can't craft some logistic pipes right now because I don't have the resources but uh, I undoubtedly can let me graph uh, like so yeah I know it's a fall down to the ground <coughs> and just this yeah this one has so let things uh, run their way here for a while and I most more than likely will be replacing these uh, steam engines with some solar powered engines because they don't require any upkeep you can just place them, place uh, one or two solar panels and let it go, let it work itself and yeah you can see there's a lot of animals in here so let's uh, cool the hairs a little The only ones I really want to keep uh, a lot, so to speak, would be the the sheep and the pigs, maybe. No, the pigs, no, the sheep and the chickens. Anyway, this this is for real now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in episode 18. Stay tuned, people, and have fun.